guys! After doing my Jack Sparrow tutorial, I got a lot of requests to also do Elizabeth Swan, so here it is. First, I'm starting with foundation to give myself an even skin tone and a blank canvas to work with. Next, I'm using an off-white powder to highlight features like my nose, chin, and jawline. Then also the center of my face. Her eyebrows are one of the most important parts of this look. So I'm going to fill mine in with a dark brown liner pencil and make them much fuller, longer, and more defined than my natural brows. Then I'm using a brown eyeshadow to blend it all in. With the same brown eyeshadow, I am contouring my nose to make it look shorter and higher at the tip. then wider on the sides and kind of pinch it right between the eyes. After that, I am dusting on some blush and contouring my cheekbones with brown eyeshadow to make my jawline more defined and to raise my cheekbones. Then I blend it all in with a fluffy brush. I also contour my forehead to make it look smaller. For the eyes, I am using a dark brown eyeliner and drawing it slightly under the lash line until I hit the middle of my eye. Then I fill in the waterline to change the shape. Then I take my dark brown eyeshadow and apply it to my eyelids to make my eyes appear more deep set. drag it all the way to my nose. And here I am using an off-white powder to correct the shadow on my nose. Now I am just touching up the eyeshadow a bit and lining the eye with black liquid liner. I am staying as close to the lash line as I can for a more natural look, while also trying to give my eyes a more cat-like shape. After that, I am using a white shiny highlighter and gently dusting it on features that I want more defined, such as the nose, jawline, above the lips, and the brow bone. For the lips, I am using a lip stain to overdraw my upper lip to make it appear fuller. Then I am using a lip liner to clean it up and adding some lipstick. Then patting on a lighter powder with my finger. Next, I curl my eyelashes and apply mascara, skipping false lashes to try to keep it minimal. Mm -hmm. 
I get asked a lot how I fit all my hair under a wig. I do this by separating it in the middle and taking one side and wrapping it around my head in the opposite direction and clipping it in place. Then I do the same for the other side and put on two wig caps to compress it. Then I just put on the wig and that's it. If you are interested in watching how I styled the wig and created the dress, stay tuned for the rest of the video. If you were just interested in seeing how I created this makeup look, feel free to end the video now and thank you so much for watching. Here I am coloring the wig to make it look more natural by giving it different tones, darker roots, and dulling the shine. I do this by mixing black and brown acrylic craft paint and watering it down so it's easier to work through the hair. Then I just use my paintbrush and paint it on in the desired areas. Every now and then I work the paint in with a brush to make sure it blends naturally and doesn't dry clumpy. When I'm happy with the first coat of color, I dry the hair so I can apply a second coat. This time the paint is a little thicker and I'm mostly focusing on the roots. Also, her hair is kinda two tones, the bottom half being much darker. So I section it off and paint it the desired colors. Hair usually dries a few shades lighter than when it is wet. The more water you add, the lighter and less impact the paint will have on the hair. The thicker the paint is, the more you will notice a difference in look and feel of the hair, which I usually prefer with wigs. As for the dress, I made her undergarment that she wears when she's trapped on the island with Jack. It's really simple, pretty, and recognizable. I used Simplicity Pattern S0311 version C and slightly altered the neckline and sleeves. The details on the sleeves aren't 100% necessary, but I wanted to add them anyway. All I did was cut up the middle to the shoulder seam, finish the cut edges, then poke holes in it with a knife and weave elastic string under then over and did the same down the center of the front of the dress. After that I mixed together black and brown acrylic craft paint and watered it down to the desired consistency. I took some scrap fabric to test it out and let it dry, then mixed more paint or water as I saw fit, then I dark washed the entire dress so it wasn't bright white and looked more dirty and worn. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and good luck making your pirate costumes and have tons of fun! Huge shout out to Purple Shala for the wonderful music you heard in the video, you should definitely check out her channel. Also, thank you to my friend Amanda who goes by Acrocos for being my Jack Sparrow body double, as well as big thanks to Alan for getting clips of us at the beach. I will add their links in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!